Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a wrapping tutorial and it's going to be for this wrap. This has been requested, I did post something a couple of days ago on social media and uh, the response was overwhelming, yes please do a tutorial and at that point I didn't even know how I did this because the first time I did this I was super distracted doing something with the kids while I was wrapping and I was saying then, uh, sorry girls, I don't know, I, I can't promise if I can figure out how I did this, but I did. So this is what you're getting today and I'm going to call this the Queen's Wrap because seriously, not because I'm the Queen, <laughs> but because it's just so regal and so pretty and it just is everything. So it is a little bit more difficult than maybe usually my wraps are, but please before you click out, give this a chance because I'm going to break this down and I'm going to break it down like in thirds. and two-thirds of the three you know already, okay? So it is really just one part that acquires or requires a little bit more practice, okay? But you can do it. I'm sure you can do it and just play, just play, okay? All right, so that is what we're doing today. Of course, this video is in collaboration with Rapunzel, which has supplied everything that is wrapping related that you're seeing here today. And I hope that you will just really enjoy this wrap. I'm going to also show you right now a few other wraps that I did, like I, I did this wrap with other scarves, that's what I meant to say. Uh, just so you can see that there is a lot of variety in even doing the same wrap, you know, because that is always something that absolutely stuns me personally, that you can basically do the same wrap for two weeks straight and you can always look different, always look different stunning, you know, uh, just playing with the colors and textures of the scarves and the placement of the scarves. So there is so much in this to say. All right, so let's go into the tutorial part for the Queen's Wrap and I hope you do enjoy. Okay, sweeties, welcome to the tutorial part of the Queen's Wrap. And I will break this up into parts, of course, because some parts of this is gonna be, are going to be really, really simple and easy and probably stuff that you know. And then the, like the last part of it is maybe going to be a little bit more tricky, but don't give up, we're getting there. Okay, let's start with the cornerstone scarf. Oh, I'm wearing the Wendy Shaper, of course. This is my OG, <laughs> OG Wendy Shaper, the black one. I just felt like pulling it out again because I still really really love it okay so that is my Wendy Shaper it is a little bit overstuffed in case you were wondering because I like to be overstuffed <laughs> apparently okay so we are going to start with the cornerstone scarf in green this is how it looks it is quite large you know like the width wise I think that's how one would say it. It does have fringes. It is a tiny little bit sheer, but that is really what scarves are usually. I maybe shouldn't even point it out. It's more like pashminas that are not sheer, but scarves usually are, right? So anyway, this is what it is. And I'm going to put that down in a regal wrap. So that's, you know, you have that already. You, you know how to do that, right? So that is already starting to get less scary. <laughs> because yes there is a little bit like the part of the wrap that comes up is a little bit more challenging but you can do it okay don't give up it's fine okay so let me just pull this into position here I'm not going to tie a knot in this case behind my head even though usually I do it but in this case I don't need to because for a regal wrap I have enough like to hold it all down you know it's fine okay so let me just put this all into place all right something like that and again it does not need to be super neat around here because obviously we have this big ornament kind of a thing going on in just a second <laughs> All right, so for the other two remaining scarves, I'm going to use the shiny, shiny Licious Scarf in teal, which is just, it's a bliss. It's an absolute bliss. It's shiny, it's teal, what else? What else do I need? It's really, really beautiful. Plus it is also in color, uh, very, very similar to the skirt that I'm wearing. And of course, as always, my final look will be included at the end of the video. Okay, like the complete look, of course, okay? So this is the Shiny Licious in teal. And then the other one is going to be the Million Dream Scarf in blue. Now, I don't know, I, I cannot, uh, I cannot always know what is right now available on the Rapunzel website please feel free to check it out for yourself okay I'm going to try to link whatever I can and if not then like use something else okay so this is this 
is the beauty million dream scarf in blue it has tassels so it's super super charming it's really big but you know you can also use something smaller if you want to try this out maybe just with two-in-ones in order to just like tone it down a tiny little bit and just get the idea of how it works then just do that okay you do not need to like start out with a big thing like this okay so now I'm just crunching it up all of this these two <laughs> doing that all right let's see I think the the million dream scarf is maybe a tiny little bit longer so I'm just trying to measure it that it's sort of extending on both sides the same way and now I'm just holding it like this and I'm placing it behind my head all right like that okay so now I'm just going to bring it up here and I'm going to tie a knot using both of them at the same time just one big knot like that okay so that is easy right we have a regal wrap easy we have this tying a knot in the middle super super easy now <laughs> Okay, don't get scared sweeties, okay? So I'm going to take the scarf that comes out of the knot here, sorry, <laughs> that comes out at the uh, at the back side, okay, of the knot, because this is like, this I consider the front side, this is the back side. So I'm going to just drape it over like uh, this, okay? And I'm just going to put it down like here. I'm not tugging it away or anything, it's just going to lie here, okay? So now I'm going to use the idea of the side ruffle wrap and sort of applying it to what we're doing here, okay? So, and this is the tricky part because it is a little bit dangerous that you're pulling too, mar too much on this part and then you're pulling it loose and then it all falls apart. So you might have to just, you know, try out a little bit what you're doing and don't give up, okay? So I'm sort of gathering this here where it is and also basically all of this, okay? And I'm sort of trying to lift it up a tiny little bit. And now I'm pushing this part here that came out of the knot towards the front. I'm going to push it from the front to the back underneath that knot. So that is the part where you just have to... Ugh. <laughs> You have to struggle a little bit, okay? I, I do that too, I struggle too, but it's okay, it's worth it. Okay, don't pull it f too far though, because we want to have this little poofy thing here, okay? Okay, so now we have this coming out here towards the back and this is still lying here, okay? This is on top of it, okay? So now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to put it above this one, okay? And now I'm going to lift this part again and I'm just going to thread it through from underneath, basically from the, from the back to the front now, doing the opposite thing that I just did before, but now I'm sort of tying down this part by what I just did, okay? Again, I'm not uh, going to pull it in like all the way. Now that is cute. <laughs> we just have a new wrap right here. Um, I'm not going to pull that uh, in through all the way because I want it to be poofy. That's my whole thing. That's what I do. Okay, and now I'm doing the same thing here again. I'm just, basically, if it would be longer, I would just do the same thing and thread it back. But right now, because this is not so long anymore, I'm just sort of going to tug it away from like underneath, sort of pretending that I'm going to do another ruffle. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and these of course both come out of the knot of this original knot here towards the back. So now I'm going to sort of gather them up and take both of them and I'm going to just lift this part up. Okay, and I'm pushing them through to the front, like from the back to the front. That's what I'm doing. If you want to give yourself a bit of an easier time, if you're doing this for the first time, maybe use, for, for this part here, use something that doesn't have fringes because that might maybe be a bit of an issue. It could be, maybe it's not, but anyway. So, and here I'm just going to poof out those, those two. Okay, and now I'm just continuing basically with what I've been doing the whole time, doing this, uh, taking uh, those two and just pushing it back through here like this and that is already all you have to do to do to do <laughs> all you have to do all you have to know that is all there is you know so now what I did either 
either you can leave it hanging out and just sort of um, tug it in a tiny little bit here. I did that I think in the, the first time I used this wrap. I had fringes and I just let it um, be like this. Or if you want to be a little bit more, I don't know, elegant maybe, if you're using also more like less playful scarves maybe, then you can also just sort of slide every fringe that is still like around here, slide it towards somewhat to, to the inside of the scarves and then just tuck it away like here. I think that's what I'm going to do today and I think also for today I'm just going to maybe push away that tassel a little bit that might come as a super surprise for you because since when does Leora tuck away tassels but today is is the kind of a day. <laughs> all right so I'm just going to sort of figure out if I like all of this and then you can of course play with it because th this is tight you know it's going to be tight if you did it right and if you do not please don't use slippery scarves for this it's not like it's not going to work okay so but this is supposed to be like a tight fit okay so that's why you're probably going to struggle a tiny little bit while pulling everything through the same space all the time but that gives you then the possibility to just really manipulate all those loops and do whatever you want with this you know make it big make it small whatever you can also of course if you want to make all of this smaller of course you can use smaller scarves but then you can also just um, make the loops themselves smaller and just drag it down the whole the whole idea drag it further down to the back which will also be a nice look you know but for me I think this is really what I wanted to achieve for today and I think this is really <laughs> it's so beautiful sweeties I mean really you know all right so let me just turn around and show you this is how the queen looks <laughs> the queen wrap <laughs> I think this is super super stunning and yes it is like the end is a little bit more difficult but I think that if you break it down in those parts of the things like two-thirds you know already and they are super super easy and the rest you'll just have to figure out and take some time and it'll come to you don't worry about it okay so that is it for today of course if you want to order something from Rapunzel you can use my discount code which is Queen Leora in all caps in one word which will give you five percent of your order it is affiliated so if you want to support me like that then thank you so so much I'm going to as I already said try to link everything in the description box to my best abilities and uh, yeah and that is it so I hope you did enjoy yourself please if you have anything to say to this wrap or in general then please leave your comments of course in the comment section down below please don't forget also to subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here because we have a lot of fun it's a very positive place of supporting each other and learning from each other and just being you know in a good space in this crazy world so please subscribe to my channel and and besides that, I'm going to see you here next time, either on my channel, either tomorrow or the day after, or on the Rapunzel channel. If you're seeing me there, then it's going to be probably a week from now. And with all of that being said, I hope you have an awesome day or an awesome evening, depending on when you're seeing this. Have fun wrapping. Don't forget to tag me in your pictures if you're uploading pictures on social media. And up until next time, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.